Welcome back to the post game at Montreal Canadian Tuesday, February 23rd, 2021. Don't go nowhere. OMG. For the third time straight, the Montreal Canadiens lost this time and shoot out by a score of 5 to 4. Um, we saw the good, the bad, and the ugly carry price tonight. And you saw also how the NHL destroyed a product like the hockey we saw tonight with the refuse, the goal to Brendan Gallagher at the end of the game. And At the end of the day, also, it, it's not gave credit to Montreal. They play poorly again. And uh, is it the end of the Claude Julien and Montreal? Is it Carey Price falling apart? Or is it maybe time to fire Mike Bergeron? Um, that's all those questions somehow, somewhere, somehow, Jeff Molson have to answer because the, you cannot have a team like that poorly play night after night since Saturday, and um, it, I, I don't know. I cannot tell you. You can tell me, oh, they almost win. It's not good enough. They deserve what happened tonight. Whatsoever they disallude a goal on Brendan Gallagher, you can talk about this all night long. At the end, he was not in. He was refused by the NHL. And then the shootout, Carey Price gave two goals and shootout, and a poorly goal to Brady Kachuk on the bad hands shot where I have no clue what Carey Price looked like. On the flip side, he have an amazing save, maybe top 10 save of the week uh, on the slap shot on a one-timer of the German players, Stoffel, Stoffel, at the maybe at, I think it was on the OT. But again, Montreal make mistake after mistake, uh, play 20, 30 minutes per game. Uh, it, this team is going down. And I, did not, I don't see right now at that moment um, with Claude Julien behind the bench and the, the level they play the right now they play, I don't see them in the playoff. I'm sorry, but uh, that's the reality. We saw this for many years now. Um, you know, Carey Price cannot carry on a team on his shoulder uh, night after night. And again, this show tonight, two bad goals he gave tonight. And, you know, It is. It's a, the worst team in the division beat again in Montreal for the third time in four games. So what? who do you bl blame? Who do you point your finger on? Or say, oh, we, we did the best. That's what you're going to do at the, after the press conference. They will say again, oh, we, we try hard, we play hard, but we, the puck don't roll on us. Someone is honest in this organization, tell they play badly. Can someone set up, said Carey Price look, cre looks poorly good. He, he won $10 million. We expect the best $10 million gold in the NHL. He should be the top five. He's at the bottom of the 10 in NHL. It's time to put Jake Allen for the next five, six games and bring Keep Primo from Laval to go up and send Bryce home. Fake an injury and Take the money and that's it. That's the real thing behind that. Oh, you can, oh, he was great. He was not great. He gave the big goal. When you give a big goal like he did twice tonight on the brainstorm power play between legs, that's changed the momentum of the game. It's not a fake. Only give the goal. It's the momentum of the game. It was winning 4-3 with 10 minutes to go. So they have the momentum. And then he, he gave a bad little goal like that to Brady Ketchuk. So you have only one player to, tonight to point is Carey Price. So when you go to here after the press conference to try to cover Carey Price and oh, we, that's what they are. So at the end of the day, that's the real thing. They lose three games, one against Toronto Saturday, now two against Ottawa. And they're going to play against Winnipeg. How can you beat Winnipeg when you cannot beat the worst team in the North Division?
cannot. It's impossible. Close your day, you have to look in your mirror and I'll figure out something or it's time to maybe to change coach. So that's a real thing and that, that it is. It, it is what it is right now. So let's go by number because I'm getting frustrated again. With this loss, the Montreal fall at 9-5-4. and four. Ottawa get up at 6-14-1. and one. It was the 21 game of the 56 game for Ottawa Senator. And they won 5-4 to four in shootout. Um, they shot again. Ottawa 39. How many shots they have Sunday night? 39. How can you win game when you allow more at 35 shots, 30 shots more per game? You know, Romanov with Kulak or Romanov with Mete, they look right now not great, Romanov. Sorry, but that's the reality. Their third pair, the defense right now, did not look great for Montreal. They have Montreal shot 36 on Murray. Their face-off, it was 51-49 advantage, Montreal. Again, Montreal 0-3. I think they have won now 1-26 or something like that right now on power play. Uh, <laughs> and... And they have, Ottawa was 0-22, I believe, on power play. They scored two goals on four tonight. <laughs> that's a, again, that's, it is what it is. Uh, they hit 34 versus 30. Uh, block shot both of them at 14. Minute penalty, 13. Minute for Montreal, 11 for Ottawa. By the way, Katschuk won the fight again. Chariot. And finally, they gave away five for Montreal, six for Ottawa. Um, the goal came from uh, Montreal 2 by Shea Weber. It's third in the fourth with the bold goal. Montreal with the others as the most goal by defenseman with 13. Um, I put Weber there. It's not Weber number two, but it's uh, Jonathan Drouin scored his second goal of the year. By the way, Drouin before this game, it was one goal and uh, his last 31 game in a regular uh, season. So uh, Tufoli scored his 12th goal of the year. A great wrist shot again. And finally, the last goal to, yeah, Mr. $10 million. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, for the Ottawa, Patterson score his fifth of the year. And I think it was 1 minute 36 seconds at the beginning of the game. Uh, Brankstrom scored his first of the, of the year, but his first in career in NHL. Uh, wrist shot or slap shot for the blue line goal. 5-0, and, you know, again, price on that one. Uh, he he make a, a great save prior to that. It was a 5-3. Uh, we can talk about this, but it, it, it's not that count when you give that goal like that. That's the game tonight. If you save those goals, they win. So that's why you need a goaltender. But they are stuck for $10 million. And finally, Brady Katschuk score is 7-8, his third in the last two games. And the win again, Murray. Murray looked like Dominic Katschuk against Montreal. He had a little bit more difficult tonight, but again, another win for him against Montreal Canadian. At the most of points during the game, uh, Katschuk with two, uh, Weber with two also. And most shot, uh, the German kid, Sozal with six. Uh, Josh Anderson have seven. Uh, most minute play on the ice, 29-26 uh, for Shabbat. He was, he was coming back after missing the last two games for Ottawa. Uh, Pedri have 26 minutes, 38 seconds. Finally, save. Uh, Murray saved 32 of the 36 shot he faced tonight. And uh, he have a point eight eight nine. And for Carey Price, he saved... 35 or 39 shot for the save at 897. That's his average. He has over 2.67 goal again average. And now, yeah, before this, he was below 90. When we talk about $10 million for the players, talk about the players should be the top goal tender in, in his shot. Now you're going to tell me, oh, this is only one game. Did you see him goal tend since the beginning of the year? <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it gets frustrated because you're supposed to get the best of your best players. And he, he go like the worst in the NHL. That's the reality behind everything like that. And Montreal look badly right now. They play poorly. Bad decision after bad decision. They, they, they take a chance. They pinch when it's not the time. Turnover after turnover. 
Uh, what's cooking meat tonight? What's Tatar tonight? What's Romanov tonight? What's Joel Armia? Tell me what Joel Armia did since he's coming back for his injury. But that's those questions. Maybe it's time to bring some player from Laval and drop some players down. That's the, that's, that's the reality here. Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, so you can sort of coach, you blame everybody. You, you, no, that's, I'm telling you right now, I sit all the time here on this show. One day are great, I will tell you. One day are bad, I will tell you. So bad performance tonight, the carry price, that's the reason they lost tonight. You can tell me, oh, they score 2.8 seconds at the end of the game and the, the NHL refused to go. Yes, it's true, right? Because I really believe it's a good goal because Murray have a time to come back. If Gallagher fall on his back with a player from Ottawa over him and come back, stand up, and he tips the puck, what Murray is doing from, from, from the right to come back to the left. So what happened right now, the goaltender got touched, he got hit by someone, and now he will go to sit there, shake it, and then they'll come back. Unfortunately, NHL right now destroyed the product and it, of the hockey by decision like that all the time. And now they did that because what? Because Galen Gary is always in front of the net and he creates obstruction, obstruction, interference all the time. So some players are marked by referee and also by NHL because the, 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 the work they do in front of the net, everything like that. So another last for the Montreal Canadian tonight. That's the, the final, again, um, of 5-4 to four shootout against Ottawa Senator. The next game is going to be Thursday night. And Winnipeg, the next two, two games are in Winnipeg. I don't see how they can beat Winnipeg. The, the, the level that Winnipeg play right now with plus with Pierre Luc Dubois, Sheffield, Wheeler, Heller, Corner, you know, Puke at the defense, and the best goal tender, one of the best goal tender, Ellie Bilk. How Montreal can win those games? I don't, I don't know how. So, anyway, this is the end of the post game Montreal Canadian. But before you leave, I want to invite you, don't forget to subscribe to our social media, Twitter, Coach Frenchie 10 x and also YouTube channel and the Facebook page under the Hockey Nation Live Show. If you want to get everything about the Montreal Canadiens, the Florida Panthers, and all the team in NHL, we bring you injury, we bring you the waiver list, we bring you all the news going on around the day by recording video two, three, four times per day, and we bring a lot of polls during the day. So thanks for watching us again, the polls game. This is your coach, Coach Frenchie, back in the house tonight for another great polls game, Montreal Canadiens. And before we leave and what we do all the time here, just want to remind you, if you are a hockey fan, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great Tuesday night. Look forward to see you tomorrow, Wednesday, for another great daily show, 11 o'clock Eastern time, with my co-host, Michael DeVillano. Good night, everybody. <laughs>